was really out front. Yeah. Like, you and you must have been in them bro. For you to say they didn't come. Right. You're weird. For you to be like, oh. Just when we believed Krishan had turned a corner, moving away from her previous antics and focusing on the right path after facing the risk of losing custody of her son, she found herself embroiled in a new controversy. It turns out she orchestrated a robbery on herself for attention, adding another layer of negativity to her already troubled situation. To make matters worse, Blueface's father Jonathan was also implicated in this scheme. The revelation came from Blueface's manager, 100, who exposed them for fabricating the story and even hinted at having evidence to support his claims. The motives behind Krishan's actions remain unclear, but this latest incident further tarnishes her reputation, especially considering her past legal troubles. In a bizarre twist, she even accused Wack of attempting harm on her out of jealousy over her relationship with Blueface. Me and my son or his pops out of spite because he mad and jealous that me were in a house to so say if he not even uh, associated with the situation, right? This weird big back happy is happening to us, so. As many of you may already know, Krishan and Blue are back together, and she moved back into his house a couple of weeks ago with her son while he's serving time in jail. Since Krishan doesn't have much support around her to help take care of her son, Blue's dad, Jonathan, moved in with her back in January. They've been spending a lot of time at Blueface's place together. Many people were optimistic about this arrangement, hoping that Jonathan would be a positive influence on both Krishan and Junior, given that he hasn't been involved in the recent troubles. However, it seems we were mistaken, as recent events have shown that he's just as irresponsible as the others. A few days ago, Krishan went live on Instagram, as she often does, and revealed that she and Jonathan were robbed while they were alone in the house. She explained that Jonathan was preparing to leave for work at 5 a.m., but when he approached his car, he discovered that the tires had been slashed and it appeared someone had intentionally tampered with it. The drama didn't stop there, as Krishan also recounted that while she and Jonathan were outside trying to make sense of the situation, a random guy emerged from a car parked in front of their house, brandishing a gun. Oh, never mind. He must have went to go get his tires fixed. Tell me why. <coughs> like 5 a.m. in the morning, while it's still dark outside. Um, Blue's father go outside to uh, go to work for real. I don't, he go there. I don't know why he go there early, but. Flashed his tires and was sitting in a weird ass car out front. Comes out the car where guns pointed. Like, I was gonna show you the tires. He must have went to go get them fixed, but. In response to Krishan's claims, Blueface's manager, WAC100, quickly took to Instagram to refute her story. He called her a liar, stating that she was simply seeking attention as she often does. WAC 100 also mentioned that he reviewed the CCTV footage from the night in question and found no evidence to support Krishan's account. It turns out that the night in question was just an ordinary one, and Jonathan's car was in perfect condition. WAC 100 stated that he reviewed the CCTV footage from Blueface's house and confirmed that nobody was robbed, and there was no suspicious activity in the driveway. He dismissed Krishan's claims as a mere attempt to gain attention, emphasizing this by writing a clout move in all caps. Additionally, WAC 100 posted a screenshot of a message he received from Carlissa in December, informing him that Jonathan had been robbed in front of his house. WAC captioned the post with, Sometimes you gotta call a spade a spade. Clout is the new can't teach an old dog new tricks. Guess it's the go-to. Hash, I got robbed, hash, stop capping. He highlighted the fact that the text message about Jonathan's alleged robbery was from December, yet a similar incident is now being claimed in March, suggesting that something doesn't add up. As expected, Krishan didn't let this accusation slide and took to Snapchat to respond. She accused Wack of lying about having CCTV footage, stating that he was only targeting her because he didn't like her. She argued that if Wack truly had footage as he claimed, he would have posted it already, as he typically does with such things. Jonathan could also be heard in the background, supporting Krishan's statements. 
don't even know why you even getting yourself involved. You must be the that sent them to rob us. Talking about it didn't happen. Who the play with some shit, bro? We got a kid, yo. You fit and shit. Asked if we was good. You do you need to send protection over there? You over there trying to act like that, that's why nobody like y'all. Y'all over there. Since Blue got locked up, everybody been mad about who's in the house. Y'all don't like the fall when y'all don't like my dumb. So y'all sending weird people to the house. Okay, I got it. And, and, and it's funny because I usually don't really care when he be trolling. But, but that's that's real life. Like, really out front. Yeah. Like, you And you must have been in the bro. For you to say they didn't come. Right. You're weird. For you to be like, oh, you got the video? You're weird. You don't got no video. You would have posted it. Like you post everything else. Stop fucking. I understand. Krishan's skepticism about Wack's actions is understandable given his past behavior. If he had any evidence to prove that Krishan was lying, he would likely have shared it promptly. However, Krishan wasn't finished yet. She further claimed that Wack was the one who orchestrated the incident, sending someone to the house because of his intense dislike for her. It's crazy how I step away from social media only to return to more people talking about me. Krishan expressed before directly addressing Wack. You thrive on instilling fear and intimidation, making people feel threatened because of your perceived power to make them disappear. But let me tell you, I'm not intimidated. I fear neither death nor any supposed authority beyond it. If you want me gone, go ahead. But trying to scare me won't work. She continued, challenging Wack's assertion about the CCTV footage. You claim to have watched the footage and accuse me of lying about people showing up at the house armed, holding Blueface's dad at gunpoint. This isn't the first time you've tried to remove me from the picture. It's pathetic, truly wild. Krishan then took to Snapchat again, asserting that she had already filed a police report. She confidently stated that she possesses evidence, including footage showing someone with a firearm in front of the house that night. Furthermore, three neighbors who witnessed the incident are prepared to testify to its occurrence. I'm so glad um, Blueface father don't do the internet shit. And we don't really care about what you say, what, because we know what happened to us. We're holding this footage and all that other shit. And, and, and all our neighbors, three neighbors, two across the street and one on the side of us, bro. They have footage. And they have their word. They they saw, they watched that happen to us. And there's a police report. We're going to talk to the that actually lives here, that actually owns this house. His name is Jonathan Porter, Blueface Baby. Like, it's, it, it's nothing. It, this is some serious shit, bro. Like, we not doing no internet. Krishan continued her accusations against Wack suggesting that he was behind the incident. She expressed suspicion about Wack's quick response to the situation, implying that his eagerness to address it could indicate his involvement. Given Wack's apparent dislike for her, Krishan believes that he is capable of orchestrating such a scheme to target her. I know that hey, we, we caught you on camera and we're more aware now. And then for to respond, you must be the that did it to us. Because you're the only that responded to what happened to us. And the way he responded, it's disgusting, bro. And it was at this point that Krishan started to get really emotional and even started crying while saying that Wack was trying to unalive her so he could use her for a documentary and make some money up off her. You know that one story, bro? Um, it was this girl. She had a stalker for real, right? And she kept like reporting it and reporting it and reporting. And when she came out missing and dead, they did a whole documentary on that shit, bro. So if I'm that documentary, let me know. You hear me? Because I ain't. You hear me? Like, y'all so weird. 
happened. I'm not like y'all not ready to make me run back to Baltimore. You feel me? And then say if, say if Wack didn't have nothing to do with it, and he just chiming in on some weird shit just to hurt me and my son or his pops out of spite because he mad and jealous that me were in the house. So say if he not even uh, associated with the situation, right? This weird big back happy is happening to us. So the situation is undeniably messy, and Krishan appears to be taking her claims very seriously. However, there are still doubts among some people who believe she may be fabricating the story for attention. The stakes are high, as Krishan could face serious legal consequences if her claims turn out to be false, especially since she has already filed a police report. It seems this drama is only beginning, and we'll have to wait and see how it unfolds. In the meantime, people are taking to social media to share their opinions and thoughts on the matter. It's clear that opinions are divided on Krishan's situation. Some people are skeptical of her claims, accusing her of seeking sympathy and being a habitual liar. Others believe that her choices, such as staying in a relationship that may not be healthy for her child, have contributed to her current predicament. As for Wax's involvement, some are suspicious of his quick response and believe he could have been behind the incident. However, without concrete evidence, it's difficult to make a definitive judgment. It's important to approach these situations with caution and wait for more information to come to light before jumping to conclusions. I don't know why this is happening, but um, I have a son to protect, so... Yo, you're weird. You don't got no big... You would have posted it like you post everything else. WAC 100 has spoken out about the accusations made by Krishan. She accused WAC 100 of being behind the attempted robbery at Blueface's father's residence. However, WAC 100 isn't just denying the allegations, he's also making a shocking revelation about why Krishan made these accusations in the first place. The details of this revelation are yet to be fully disclosed, but it adds another layer of complexity to this ongoing drama. Stay tuned for further updates as we unravel this unfolding story. Get this over with. And the only way she gonna get it over with is to turn herself in or they gonna come pick you up. For those who may not be aware, let's recap the alarming events that unfolded just two days ago. Krishan Rock, known for her candidness about her personal life, took to her live session to recount a chilling encounter that occurred in the early hours of Friday morning. The scene was her own driveway, where Blueface's father, who currently resides with Rock, found himself in a terrifying predicament. I am in the morning while it's still dark outside. Um, Blue father go outside to uh, go to work for real. As he stepped outside, intending to head to work, he was met with a chilling sight, his tires slashed, and two armed men lurking, poised for a robbery attempt. The situation escalated swiftly as the assailants brandished their weapons, evidently intent on gaining entry to the residence. However, in a stroke of fortune, the would-be thieves seemingly abandoned their mission upon realizing that Blueface's father wasn't carrying anything of substantial value. As the assailants fled the scene, a shaken but grateful Rock shared her ordeal, emphasizing the need for heightened security measures to protect her family and home. I was scared for them. That's how, that's how I felt. Like, I was scared for them. First come to worst, yeah, my son. In an unexpected twist, Krayshawn Rock has stepped forward, pointing fingers directly at none other than WAC 100 Blueface's manager, alleging his involvement in the harrowing incident. Let's rewind a bit for those just tuning in. WAC 100, a name synonymous with the music management scene, has a history intertwined with Blueface's career. From managing some of hip-hop's biggest names to brokering lucrative deals, WAC 100 has left an indelible mark on the industry. However, his relationship with Krishan Rock has been far from smooth sailing. Public spats and tense exchanges have marred their interactions, leaving behind a trail of speculation and simmering animosity. Now, in a move that has left jaws on the floor, Krishan Rock has laid bare her accusations against WAC 100. In a fiery Instagram live session, she didn't mince words, directly implicating Blueface's manager in the terrifying ordeal her family endured. Getting yourself involved. You must be the mother that sent them here to rob us. 
Took my ID. The answer lies in the tumultuous dynamics surrounding Blueface's personal life. With Blueface behind bars, tensions have been running high, exacerbated by Krish Han's decision to move back into his California home. WAC 100's less than enthusiastic response to this reunion only fueled the flames, setting the stage for the explosive allegations that followed. Krishan Rock painted a damning picture of WAC 100's motives, alleging that he orchestrated the break-in as a sinister ploy to drive her out of the picture. You all don't like the guy's phone, and you all don't like my foolishness, so you all are sending weird people to the house, she asserted, laying bare the underlying tension simmering beneath the surface. Amidst the finger-pointing and fiery accusations, WAC 100 has vehemently denied any involvement in the incident. Taking to his Instagram stories, he refuted Krishan's claims, insisting that the alleged robbery never took place. The Blueface house cameras, nobody was robbed or in the driveway, he countered, dismissing Krishan's allegations as baseless and motivated by ulterior motives. As the dust settles on the explosive allegations, WAC 100 isn't just sticking to denial. He's flipping the script, offering a startling revelation that could shake the foundation of this entire saga. Brace yourselves, folks, because the plot thickens. Not content with merely refuting Krishan Rock's accusations, WAC 100 has dropped a truth bomb that's sending shockwaves through the hip-hop community. According to WAC 100, Blueface's father and Krishan Rock fabricated the entire ordeal not for the sake of justice, but for the allure of PR and attention. Yes, you heard that right. The very foundation of this drama might be built on smoke and mirrors. But where's the proof, you ask? Well, enter Blueface's mother, who's adding fuel to the fire with her own bombshell statement. Sitting down with Blueface, she expressed her skepticism about the alleged robbery, revealing that she too believed the entire incident was a concoction. What's more, she dropped a revelation that sent shockwaves through the room. The police never even showed up. That's right, folks. No cops, no crime scene, just a narrative spun out of thin air. And it's just not giving. It's just a mess. It's a hot fucking mess. With accusations flying and tempers flaring, it's becoming increasingly clear that there's more to this story than meets the eye. What drove Blueface's father and Krishan Rock to concoct such an elaborate scheme? Was it the allure of the spotlight, the craving for attention in a world where relevance is currency? Or perhaps there are deeper, more sinister motivations at play lurking beneath the surface of this tantalizing drama. WAC 100's latest remarks echo sentiments he's expressed before, painting a picture of Krishan Rock as an adult child wielding her actions like a double-edged sword, capable of both garnering attention and wreaking havoc in equal measure. But what lies at the heart of WAC 100's animosity towards Krishan Rock? To understand the depths of their feud, we need to rewind the tape and revisit some key moments in their tumultuous history. Notice, like, even right. when you hit him, we took a loss. All this lecturing, I get No, it's not lecturing. We can lost What's going over on? We're $2 working. million. Dollars. Yes, there's definitely a pattern of conflict between them. One of the earliest flashpoints in their contentious relationship emerged when WAC 100 pointed the finger at Krishan Rock for Blueface's legal woes in a now infamous Instagram post. WAC 100 didn't mince words, placing the blame squarely on Krishan Rock's shoulders for allegedly orchestrating the events that led to Blueface's incarceration. This accusation, coupled with WAC 100's insistence that Blueface would be home sooner than expected, set the stage for a war of words that would only escalate in the days to come. But WAC 100's grievances against Krishan Rock extend beyond legal matters. He's repeatedly taken aim at her character, painting her as a manipulative figure whose actions have wreaked havoc on those around her. Only thing I'm saying is this. What? Can we keep the part? WAC 100 has diligently pursued what he sees as Krishan Rock's true nature, alleging her involvement in Blueface's probation violation and scrutinizing her intentions in seeking leniency from the courts. Their exchanges have been heated, including a confrontation where Krishan Rock accused WAC 100 and Blueface of homosexuality. 
In response, WAC 100 issued a stern warning, promising to reveal the truth if Krishan Rock mentioned his name negatively again. This incident highlighted the deep-seated animosity that characterizes their relationship. One of the most revealing moments of their feud was captured on the Zeus Network's Crazy and in Love series. In this candid exchange, WAC 100 confronted Krishan Rock over her tumultuous relationship with Blueface. He didn't hold back, painting a stark picture of the toll their union had taken, branding it as a distraction detrimental to Blueface's career. Despite Krishan Rock's protests to the contrary, WAC 100 stood firm, asserting that her presence had hindered rather than helped Blueface's success. Just handle it, wacky. Handle it. You're not communicating with me. You what? Can you keep the personal? I don't want to talk. In this tangled web of accusations, confrontations, and recriminations, the latest drama unfolds as Wack 100 doubles down on his condemnation of Krishan Rock, alleging her involvement in fabricating the recent robbery attempt. The stakes have never been higher, but amidst the chaos and confusion, one thing remains abundantly clear. The feud between WAC 100 and Krishan Rock shows no signs of abating. Despite the tumultuous drama surrounding Blueface, the rapper himself has notably distanced himself from the recent whirlwind of controversy. In the face of fiery accusations and finger-pointing, Blueface has maintained a conspicuous silence, opting to keep a low profile. Amidst the storm of speculation and allegations while incarcerated, Blueface seems to be navigating his circumstances with relative ease compared to his fellow inmates. Reports suggest that he's been granted certain privileges, including a cell to himself, access to educational and religious services, and even recreational amenities such as television and library access. However, his situation remains under scrutiny as he is housed in administrative segregation, a status granted due to perceived threats either against him or posed by him to others in the jail. Whack. <laughs> whack. <laughs> well, yes. That whack. Despite his relative comfort behind bars, Blueface's future remains uncertain. Records from the Sheriff's Department indicate that he won't be eligible for release until July 2nd, 2024, though such dates are subject to change based on various factors. Meanwhile, Rumors abound regarding the circumstances of his incarceration, with speculation swirling about potential involvement of his associates, including Jaden Alexis and Krishan Rock, in his legal woes. However, amidst the sea of conjecture, Blueface himself remains a silent figure, his focus seemingly directed towards navigating his legal troubles and maintaining a semblance of stability amidst the chaos engulfing his personal life. As we delve deeper into the ongoing saga surrounding WAC 100, Chris Sean Rock, and the bewildering allegations of a staged robbery attempt, let's take a moment to gauge the pulse of public opinion. One fan, clearly exasperated by the apparent lack of precautionary measures, remarks, All I know is I wouldn't be in a house that keeps getting robbed with my infant child if I had my own house to stay in. Another fan raises a pertinent question, highlighting this seeming contradiction in Rock's actions, stating, so instead of packing to move to protect the baby, it ain't safe for your back on the internet telling us it ain't safe, like, huh? This sentiment reflects a common thread of skepticism running through the fan base as they grapple with the apparent inconsistencies in the narrative presented. But amidst the chaos, we turn to you, our astute viewers, to weigh in. Do you think there's merit to WAC 100's claims or is Krishan Rock onto something bigger? Are we witnessing a calculated PR stunt or a genuine cry for justice? Drop your thoughts below and join the conversation. Farewell for now. And remember, the truth is often stranger than fiction.